So now we are going to see relation between differential and integral equations. So consider a second order differential equation which is in equation 1 with the initial conditions in equation 2. Okay. Now we are going to reduce this equation into integral equation. For that you have to integrate this. So integrating over the interval a comma x. The left side, we are taking y double dash of x in the left side, the remaining to the right side. So when you integrate y double dash of x become y dash of x within the interval a to x. Then in the right side a of x y dash of x you are taking integral a to x b of x y of x also you are taking integral a to x then integrating f of x so the equation is there then uh, uh, substituting upper and uh, lower limit you will get y dash of x minus y dash of a y dash of a is y naught dash so substitute that which is equal to in this first integral you are applying integration by parts so the uh, formula is written here so here a of x is u y dash of x is dv so apply minus a u v u is a of x v is y of x in the limit a to x then minus of minus plus in the a to x v du v is y of x du is a dash of x the remaining is same then here you bring y naught dash to the right side then uh, apply the limit here so minus a of x y of x plus a of a y of a the remaining is same again you are going to enter it in the interval a comma x so you'll get y of x over the interval a comma x the, the you bring y naught dash to the right side and take the interval you'll get a to x dx similarly in the right side you have minus a of x y of x there also you are taking integration the third term also you are taking integration, but y of a is y not here by the initial condition. Then wherever one integral is there, you are taking double integral everywhere. Okay. Then the next line, uh, we are substituting the limit. So you will get y of x minus y of a, which is y not you bring to the right side. So plus uh, y not. Then plus first term y not dash is constant. You take it outside, then integrate dx. So you will get x with the limit x a to x, so x minus a. Okay. Then the second term is same. same. Third term is a of a y naught is constant. Take it outside. Again, integrate dx, you will get x minus a. Okay. Now, we are going to combine uh, these two terms. These two terms because y of x is common there. So, a dash of x minus b of x, y of x, dx, dx. The last term is same. Then, so you will get y uh, when you substitute uh, the, so y of x equal to y naught plus y naught dash into x minus a minus, see here, a of x, y of x, dx, the same thing. Uh, the next term is also same thing but when the second integral comes you have to apply the formula integral a to x n times will give you 1 by n minus 1 factorial in i n of x the same thing here n is 2 so 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial into a to x i n is nothing but x minus i the whole power n minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 a dash of psi the remaining you have to take it in the form of psi similarly you are going to apply for the last f of x dx dx there also you are applying the formula you will get like this then y of x equal to y naught you combine uh, x minus a terms, so you will get the, this term. Then you take a of x, y of x as uh, a of psi, y of psi, d psi, so that you can combine these two terms. So y of psi, you take it common. So now we are taking these two, uh, these two terms, so y of psi is common, so apply that. So now we have the integral, y of x equal to sum f of x plus integral a to x, k of x comma of psi, y of psi, d psi. So the y of psi term, this is our k, the whole thing is, k sorry uh, f so that's why we have written y of x equal to f of x plus into a to x thus uh, k of x comma of psi y of psi d psi where k is given f of x is given this is nothing but volta integral of second kind because here alpha of x equal to 1 okay so like that we can reduce our uh, integral equation